Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about functions in Python. It's a little bit advanced topic as of this section, but we're going to have to talk about functions right now to perform some activities and exercises for this section. This is going to be a brief introduction to creating functions in Python and calling them. So in Python, you define a function by using a keyword called def, D-E-F. Give a space and then type the name of the function. For instance, I'm going to name the function f-u-n-c func and then open and close parentheses and then after that we type colon. When you press return, you will notice that we have white spaces, indentation is done, so we are in function block now. Any statement I type here will be part of that function. So for instance, I will just type print and in single quotes I'll say hello from func. And I'm going to save the file and then we press enter and we're still in the part of the function block. I'm going to press return again, return again. As you can see, it's not taking me out from the function block. I have to press delete or backspace on Windows to get out from the function block. Now, you see some errors here or warnings from Python. Python is really advanced. It helps you to follow the proper syntax of Python. So basically it's saying expected two blank lines found one. So if here I go and press return, you'll have two blank spaces between this statement and then the statement for our function declaration. Now after that, I'm going to call this function by giving two space. To call any function in Python, you simply type function name with open and close parentheses. Let's press command S to save the file. To run it, I'm going to press Control shift r and now we can see we are getting hello from function. Now this is a basic example of function. You use a def keyword, a name of the function, open and close parentheses, end with colon, and then you go inside the block of your function. Now here I would like to create a function which actually receives a value, processes it, and then returns the result. Now to do that, we are going to actually remove this function. We don't need that anymore. I'll actually leave that for you guys. You know, you can follow along with these files. So I'm just going to remove the call for the function. So we type another def and I'm say cal and I'm going to give it two numbers and I want this function to add those numbers and return the result for me. So here I'll say x comma y. Now in open and close parentheses, we're giving this as a parameter. It's like uh, putting the value in the machine, processing it and getting the product out from the machine. So function is like a machine. So here in our function block, right now you can see we don't have any white space. That means we are not the part of this cal function. So I'm going to go up there, press return. Now we have four white spaces and I am part of this cal function block now. So here I'll say result equal to, let's change the spelling, x plus y. Okay. On the next line, I use another Python keyword, which is return. And this keyword you're going to be using pretty much all the time in your Python adventure because you're going to be creating a lots and lots of function and you're going to have to return some value from those functions. So here I'll say return result. And then we go down and I'm going to call this function. I'll say cal, open and close parentheses. And now I'm going to save the file and let's run it. Now it's saying track back most recent call. It's saying cal missing two required parameters. So basically it's saying, hey, you are supposed to pass in x and y argument, but you didn't give any value. Okay, well, he's angry, so I'm going to go back and give some value here. So here say 2, comma 2. The first two will go inside this x variable or we can call it function parameter named x, and then the second two will go for y. So if you have more than two parameters, every value you define will go inside this function. For example, if I have another value here, and I'm going to save the file and run this, now it's saying call 223, so it's saying it takes two positional arguments, 
but three were given. So that's another error. You're going to have to make sure the amount of parameters you have, the amount of values you're going to have to pass in. You cannot pass more than your parameters. So I'm going to just go back and here's a warning saying expected two blank lines after clause of function definition. So from defining a function, PyCharm recommends to give a second space there. I'm going to save this. There's another little warning. So no new line of the file. I'm going to press enter here. You know, it removes that warning. Now, the reason why we don't have result coming back is because we're not printing anything. We're not actually printing anything. So what we can do, we can save this function call or this statement into a variable, and then we can print that afterwards. Or you can do like print function and within the print function, you wrap these call into the print function and whatever gets returned from a result will be printed on to run. Let's save the file. I'm going to play this and this time we get four. If I change the value here to six, I'll say play and then we're getting eight. Now you can see we're printing the value here instead of just, you know, getting the value out but not actually showing to the user. Now we can add a variable there for this function. So say result equal to cow. I'm going to save it. Now the warning is like name result from out of scope. So basically this result got nothing to do with the outside world. And we've talked about already in the theory that any variable that you define within the function will be removed from our memory space when this execution is done. So we can define the same name for variable, which we define here. Let's run it. And we don't see any error because we haven't printed results. So I'm going to say print result. Let's save the file and let's run. And then we get four here. So now you can see how do you create function? How do you call them? And how do we pass in some parameters into it?